I have messed up and I admit it and as well this is not Photoshop this is real I, it may look like Photoshop I am actually in the middle of a farm so that's that's real what to do when you mess up and recently I have messed up a lot um, I have messed up more than I would like to do or to say I have messed up in relationships I have messed up with myself um, I have done stuff that I shouldn't have been doing but I have done it I, I have done it and you cannot change the past so you just need to admit it and move forward but you cannot okay if you have been in a really bad momentum you have to change that you cannot stay in that bad positioning you cannot stay in that bad rhythm you're going so you need to do a change but what change should you do and that's a big question you can start by not doing what you know you shouldn't be doing that's a good start and something that I have always uh, done and it has always helped me a lot is waking up early super early it's 4 a.m. again it's oh right now it's about 4.29 I woke up at 4 even though I'm on vacations I don't care if I have messed up the best way I can change it and the well the best way I can do everything in my power not to replicate my mistakes is simply waking up super early and exercising and why would you do that it's a tough question why would I wake up at 4 a.m. in my vacations while I'm in Sweden, which is a place I'm, I'm supposed to enjoy? And I messed up twice really big in the last weeks. It's two great relationships, two great relationship opportunities. The most recent one it was nothing ago, it was last week, I messed up, it was a beautiful Swedish girl, she was, she really liked me, and I messed up, and I need to accept the responsibility, and the other time I messed up in our relationship was before coming to Sweden, I was in France, and I met an American girl, incredible American girl, super sweet, she really liked me but guess what I messed up again because I'm a needs to learn I would have liked not committing the mistakes I've done and since they were really close together they were they were weeks apart and how can I mess up something that beautiful twice and so Freaking, like you need to learn from your freaking mistakes, dude. You cannot be committing the same mistakes over and over and over. You need a change, you need something that will help you not to do those mistakes again. And waking up early, as romanticized as it is by a lot of people, by me including including them in being one of those people when you wake up early and you exercise it's you start gaining some momentum you start not messing up because by waking up early you need to go to bed early so you don't do stupid stuff at night that's a good one as well when you wake up early and you exercise your body feels great your body feels it's full with the things it should have 
because exercising and waking up early if you feel like a hunter you feel like a you know you feel you feel like you have accomplished something which is really good and then when you do when you take two good decisions to start off the day like waking up early exercising eating a good breakfast then the, then you take a third good decision like eating good breakfast and next thing you know it's freaking 10 a.m. and you have accomplished all the things you had to do in the day and when you do a lot of good things you're more likely not to do bad things because your brain is like oh no I'm thinking all this effort in waking up early and doing good stuff and not messing up my life why would I mess it up there's no point into it and there's no point into messing up your life but since you're a freaking teenager you have to mess it up and that's no good dude freaking stop they say that you either learn by your mistakes or the mistakes others have done mm, the good thing would be learning by others people other people's mistakes one thing is for sure you'll probably learn better if you commit those mistakes because they hurt you personally so you're less likely to do them again but even if they hurt you personally even if you do those mistakes you will still probably do them again especially in relationships that's that's a part of life you always mess up like there's some parts of life you're good at and good for you man. but in relationships i don't know if it's just of your age or your past or your memories or i don't know why but you're messing your life up in that spectrum of life you do a big shock you need to do something that will change your body and your mind a bit something that will allow you to make a big change in the future if you do something bad for a week and then you cut it off it will be way easier cutting off that if you let that same thing over a whole year and then you want to cut it off it will probably take you way more if you're even able to cut it off because some people when they have such bad habits for such long period of time they you're not able to cut them off think of the of your mistakes learn from them see what you can learn out of those mistakes and don't do them again when you're presented with the same with the similar situation you can you have two choices you can either do the same mistake again or you can just stop it and not do it again do another thing and hey that other thing may be new that other thing you may know not you may not know how to do it because you've always done the same mistake all over again well start by doing another thing that's not your mistake that's a great start then as that situation comes over and over and over you stop doing the mistake and then you start perfectioning your future decision making and next thing you know you're not doing that mistake oh sorry if i got a bit angry at myself because of the relationships i've messed up in the recent weeks ah. Daniel, Daniel, God, but yeah, this is the thing that I um, advise you to do when you mess up, do a drastic change, and wake you up really early, it's one of those really good changes you can do to set, your set your, yourself into a better momentum. Today it's Monday. So it's an important day to win momentum. It's the beginning of the week. You need to start the week with the right foot. So waking up and doing difficult things, it will only make the week go better. Moving forward. And thank you a lot for watching this video. If you came all the way until here, it's, it's really a pleasure that you watched my content. And I hope to see you in another video soon. So yeah, bye people.